Welcome on YouTube, GSN right here. You may or may not know it, but shutting down your device from time to time is one of the most important things you can do on your iPhone to preserve your device's performance and of course your security. Well, I'm going to start with the security angle. Now, as you probably are aware, we are living in the era of AI. You can find vulnerabilities easier than ever. You can just run a tool and it will spew out a couple of vulnerable endpoints or vulnerable applications and so on. It's not a surprise that Apple sends spyware warnings to iPhone users in 100 countries. This made headlines just two days ago. Now, spyware on iOS has always been a thing and for those of you who are not aware, there is one thing called the Pegasus spyware which was incredibly powerful a few years back. This one actually required zero clicks. You didn't have to do anything in order to get infected. You wouldn't even know that your device is infected. And there is one common theme around all these spyware things, malware, viruses and so on on iOS. Your device device has to stay on. The second you turn off the device and you turn it back on, the spyware, the attacker, the hacker, whatever you want to call it, would have to infect your device all over again in order to run again the spyware. So shutting down the device has the effect that it clears out the memory, which means that any spyware or security vulnerabilities or anything would also be cleared out from the memory. So if you leave your device on, for example, for weeks, if it gets infected, that spyware stays active pretty much forever because you never turn off your device so the memory never gets cleared. So my recommendation is to essentially go ahead and just turn off your device from time to time. Once a week would be great. Um, there is also a performance advantage on this. For example, each settings in here are actually controlled by various diamonds, programs that you never see running in the background. You just see the Wi-Fi settings but you never see the actual Wi-Fi diamond that runs in the background trying to connect to the networks, maintaining connection with the router and exchanging IP addresses, whatever. Those are far deep inside the operating system and in order to be able to run properly those programs are better off not staying active forever as the memory is never cleared every issue that arises is actually adding up by rebooting the device you're clearing that memory giving those programs a chance to start again from scratch which essentially allows them to run again freshly and clear any errors that might have occurred so yes this is why you should most definitely go ahead and reboot your phone or shut down your phone at least once a week Speaking of exploits, if you want to check out the latest iOS jailbreak tools, you can go ahead here on iDeviceCentral.com. It's my website and I do have here lots of guides on iOS related stuff. But if you want to learn about iOS security and how you should protect yourself and how to find iOS vulnerabilities, the 8K Sec Academy have a great course on iOS security, which you can find over here on offensive iOS internals. Especially if you want to learn how to be an iOS hacker, basically, you should definitely check out their course. Thank you for watching. I am GS now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.